back in my Doom review, I called Doom one of the most perfect games I've ever played, or as close to a perfect game as games come. Now, that statement definitely seems kind of weird given that generally reviewing a game is a subjective process and what you share in a review most times is also subjective um and in all fairness even that statement is very much subjective i'm i'm not saying that it wasn't subjective but um what i'm trying to say is is that statement uh wasn't describing how much i liked that game um even though i love that game i think i made that very clear in the video <laughs> um what I'm saying is that when I look at that game from the lens of objectivity, uh, and uh, again, it's never 100% objective, but, I've, but I believe that if you look at a game and you come towards it and you analyze it with its own rules, right? You, you leave behind your personal preferences and instead you, you, you take in the game for whatever it's trying to do. Um, then there's sort of a way that you can analyze and recognize the accomplishments of a game on its own terms. And that's where you can find somewhat uh, of a more objective approach on discussing a game. Uh, let me give you an example, right? So, as a person who likes heavy action games that feel really good, to play and generally have a really good combat flow, Doom is definitely in my wheelhouse. So of course that's going to affect my opinion. Even if that wasn't my preferred taste, if I approached Doom from the perspective of knowing what it's trying to accomplish, right? It's a game that's trying to put you in an arena that feels very fast, brutal, and thoughtful. It's combat chess as the, 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 the developers claim. Um, and if I approach it from that, where I'm not trying to discuss whether or not I like it, but rather if it succeeds at providing whatever it's trying to provide, right? Now, when looking towards Doom, if I remove my biases of the things that I enjoy in my, my games, right? Or the, games that, uh, the, 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 the features in games that I prefer, and instead I view Doom uh, from the lens of it has a goal, combat chess again and how does it achieve that goal right then i can start sort of breaking down aspects of the game and sort of recognizing where it succeeds and where it fails and that's where i felt like doom was a close to perfect game because i think for what it's trying to do it does it better than almost anyone i can think of it's a game that every feature in it exists to push towards that common goal it always wants to keep you moving it always wants to give you high thrills and high energy action and it's a very thoughtful game the enemies are designed in a way that make you think of them as chess pieces and you have to switch up what you're gonna do in every combat situation because of what enemy shows up and in that it's achieving its goal wonderfully and there's very little I could find in a game in that game that didn't push towards that goal and aid it in achieving that goal. And that's the perspective that made it such a perfect game. Um, I apologize if I'm kind of retreading a lot of common ground. This is off the dome. Uh, but this has been a topic that sort of interests me because reviews are a very difficult thing to really write because everybody does them in their own way and i said in that video that i believe short reviews rarely communicate information effectively or what i prefer to hear uh from a review which is sort of an in-depth analysis but i get it i mean it's very understandable that time is precious when a review is super long i i i am less likely to click on it even though i think that's a review that's doing its job better um, and that's 100% understandable, but I do feel like being able to recognize where a person's coming from, right? By knowing what the reviewer's tastes are, and then being able to recognize when they're putting their biases aside to break down a game 
on its term can probably help you recognize the quality of the game beyond the biases that the reviewer might have and might also help you recognize if that game is for you because everyone's different um and again there's no way to be 100 percent objective even in the analysis of some if something is succeeding at, a, at what it's doing outside of maybe numbers and data which are hard to come by a lot of that is just off of a gut feeling if you feel like you, the game is if you feel like the game is getting across what it's trying to achieve uh through whatever aspect you're analyzing um and so again there's never a way to really get rid of subjectivity in anything uh that that has to do with an analyzing an art piece but there is a bit of room there they could discuss topics that otherwise would be just based on taste but you could sort of have a discussion where everybody's sort of on common ground and you can analyze a game off of sort of a common footing and that i think is a space that isn't explored as much as i'd like in reviews um and uh i hope to be able to sort of do that more with my videos going forward it's definitely something that's difficult because i again short videos are generally preferred even on my end editing is arduous when the video is long but that's the end goal i guess and uh i hope to improve on it and uh i hope you can help me improve on it just with feedback uh yeah thank you for watching i hope you guys uh learned something or maybe uh you know you didn't and thank you for sticking around <laughs> uh talk to you later